Hi, welcome to The Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and today we're focused on whole number computation, and we're thinking about how to use the lattice method with division. So here is a division problem, 652 divided by 14, or we could also think about that as how many groups of 14 can you make when you have 652. Now, I said we're doing lattice division, and that's just a little bit of a different setup than lattice multiplication. So let me show you what this setup looks like. So I have a three-digit number here. So that means I'm going to draw three, uh, I'm gonna call them squares, I hope that they look like squares, three squares, and they're going to adjoin here um, at their angles or their corners. And you know, my pink marker is not doing that great today. I'm gonna try to do another one here. Oh yeah, that one's better. A little squeakier, but better. And I'm doing these three squares because I have a three-digit dividend, and I'm dividing that by my divisor. So my three-digit dividend was 652. And I'll write that right there. And I also need to draw in my lattices. And each lattice goes from the top right-hand corner to the bottom left-hand corner. And with multiplication, sometimes you'll extend that lattice outward, but there's really no need to do that here with lattice division. So top right-hand corner to bottom left-hand corner, top right-hand corner to bottom left-hand corner. Now I am figuring out how many groups of 14 I can make with 652. Now the first thing I'm gonna focus on is how many groups of 14 can I make if I have six? Well, if I only have six objects, I cannot make a full group of 14, so I cannot make any groups, so I can make zero groups of 14, but if I had six objects out there, I still have six remaining, okay? Now my question, and I always like to circle this here, is how many groups of 14 can I make if I have 65? I'm gonna just double check my math over here. I think it's gonna be four groups. So let's see, 14 times four. Hmm, I'm uh, very close. So I can make four full groups of 14. And then if I have uh, 65 minus 56, then how many do I have remaining? I have nine remaining. So just to kind of go over this again, I was thinking about how many groups I could make with 65. We can make four groups of 14, and then there would be nine remaining. Now I have to think about how many groups of 14 can I make if I have 92? Again, I'm gonna kinda go over here to my side and do some math. I, I'm gonna guess that I might be able to make six or seven groups, so let me check my math here. Oh yes, I can definitely make six groups. And then if I have 92 subtracted by 84, then I have eight remaining. So I made six full groups of 14, and I have eight remaining. So now it is time for us to figure out what our quotient is. And that we're going to look at the top parts of each lattice. So my quotient for this problem is, and I'll, I'll go ahead and write it up here. It's zero, four, six, but I'm forgetting something. Look, we have a remainder. Remember we couldn't make any more full groups of 14? So my answer is 46, remainder eight. And some of you may not like to hold that, have that zero as the place value holder, so I can just erase that real quick like. So to figure out that our quotient, um, when we have 652 divided by 14, our quotient is 46 with a remainder of eight. Thank you so much for tuning into this stair tailored.